people who have made a difference in my life. There are so many people who have made an impact on my life. And it was so hard to choose and narrow it down. But I chose two people who, without them, I wouldn't be here, literally. My mother and my father. Both of them have made an impact together and separately. Um, first, let me talk about my mother, ladies first. Um, from her, I learned that you treat everyone equally and with respect, whether they're the garbage truck driver or the CEO of a company. And that even though I had some physical challenges, I could do anything anybody else can. And as long as I tried and to stand up on my own two feet with pride. She also has an infectious and joyful laugh that I hope I've inherited. Um, when she's watching TV or something funny, she can just bowl over with laughter. It's, it's infectious. I also learned from her that even when bad things happen and life seems unfair and you're down and nothing's going your way, there's a graceful way and a dignified way to handle yourself through it and that you're always going to be better off on the other side. I'm sure there are many more things that I've learned from my mother and I've gotten from her. But now we'll move on to my father. From him, I learned a work ethic and to always remember that the people you work for depend on you every day and you have to give 100% of yourself to them. And that life is very short and always be doing something, not sitting down doing nothing, always do something, something that will improve your, your life, improve you, whether it be reading a book, walking outside, playing, even puttering around in the yard, which she loves to do, do something. And I got my sense of humor from him. <clears throat> my father and I, and, to some, and my mother also, but mostly my father and I have a very dry British sense of humor. He also taught by example. As you know, I was born with many health issues. And most young 25-year-old men would have simply walked out and not dealt with the situation or any future problems, but my father stuck it out and was there for me when we needed him. And when my parents divorced and got remarried, my father got remarried, again, a lot of men forget about their first family and the children from their first family, but my father and I must include his, his wife, his new wife in there, made sure that my brother and I were included as much as possible and were not made to feel like we were a third wheel and not welcome in the new family. Um, I'm sure I've left out a whole bunch of stuff on my parents that they've taught me, again, either together or apart. And I think that I was very lucky to get the two parents that I did. Um, and to have been given the childhood that I was with them, not only the adventures we had, um, Cape Cod every summer, family vacations, moving every three years, which they made a game almost and fun, except for putting stuff 
you know, the actual move. Um, but it was, it was a good child growing up and my parents have influenced me like most people's parents and taught me, of course, everything you know they do, they teach you. And I don't think we can ever repay our parents back for what they've done for us, how they taught us. And yes, they made mistakes. They're human, like everybody else. And I, in this speech, I know it was short, and I, you know, but I hope to pay tribute to them. And again, thank them both as a team when they were together, and now separately with their new families, as they both, you know, gone on. So again, thank you to them and thank you to this class.